Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're going to discover about the use of Metasploit to actually gain access into the system. So the scenario goes like this. So on the left side, I actually have a Windows 10 operating system running. So perhaps somehow you got access into my laptop or my desktop, and you could see my username here, but you have no idea what is the password. So the challenge now is how could you actually reset a password or gain access in the system if you could not even get past the logon page or the login page. So maybe you try and think that I may be using some commonly used password. So you do a best guess effort and you hit enter on that. And you see that the password is incorrect. So it says try again. So of course, in this case, when you click OK, we get a password hint. So the password hint is 128, meaning that the password is 12345678. So that is actually the actual password. So perhaps you try blank password and it's not working as well. So the whole idea is that you have no idea what's the password and you're trying to gain access into it. Of course, we all know the actual password because we are doing so much practicals and tutorials on this YouTube channel. And what we are wanting to do is to accelerate the whole pace of looking at how we could exploit some of the security mechanisms inside Windows 10. So again, the scenario is we have no idea what is the password and we're trying to gain access into the system quickly. So all this brings us to the right side of the computer where we have Kali Linux running. So of course, you can see a bunch of payloads right here, right in the center of the desktop. And we've been doing hundreds of videos on tutorials, practicals, so that you can learn as much as possible about cybersecurity and ethical hacking. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. So what we can do now is actually open up terminal and we can zoom in a little so it's easier for you to see. So the first thing we want to do is to be able to discover the IP addresses of all the devices in your network. And that includes the Windows 10 operating system that we are trying to gain access into. So the first thing you do is you can take a look at sudo netdiscover and enter help on that. So netdiscover is a great tool for us to actually see what are the IT devices inside the network. So what we can do here is we can actually see the range. So we can provide a range for auto scanning so we can discover all the IP addresses within the sub network. So what we can do next is enter ifconfig and we can see the IP address of this Kali Linux machine as 192.168.1.17. And of course, we have the net mask. So the net mask is 255.255.255.0. So it is a slash 24 network mask. And of course, with that information, we can go ahead and plant those information into NetDiscover. So we just got to enter NetDiscover R192.168.1.0 slash 24. So you go ahead and hit enter on that, and it will begin discovering all the IT devices within the network. So of course, what we can do next is actually to open up a separate terminal and we are going to launch the Metasploit framework because we are trying to exploit into the system and then we start the password and then logging in into Windows 10. So what we'll do is enter MSF console. So this will start up the Metasploit framework. And once we have it started, we can search specifically for the kind of exploits we want to use. So in this case, we are going to look at Eternal Blue. So Eternal Blue is a highly popular and it has a very high profile coverage especially a few years ago when we're using it to actually hack into systems and so on and it was of course being popularized by the use of ransomware so what we can do now is enter search eternal blue and of course when we do a search on eternal blue we have a number of different kind of modules so we got auxiliary we got exploit so the first thing you want to do is look for scanners so you look at number one on the id so we can copy the information here, which is in auxiliary scanner SMB SMB MS 17 zero one zero. So we enter use and then we can just paste the information over and we hit enter in that. And what you can do is enter show options. So once you hit enter show options, all you got to do is fill in the R host. So of course, now we're trying to find out the IP address of the target machine. So on the right side, we can see that we have a particular IP address, which is 192.168.1.18, which is running on the PCS System Technique GMBH. So this is what we can use to actually gain access into a system that is actually running on the Windows 10. So once we have the information, all you got to do is go back to Metasploit, enter set our host 192.168.1.18. Hit enter on that, and you just key in run, hit enter, and we will actually check the system 
if it is vulnerable to the MS17010. And of course, in this case, we can see that the host is likely vulnerable to it. So that's great. And if we do a search again, we can actually see what are the exploits we can use. So we have a number of choices. So one, we got the Eternal Blue, and we got Eternal Blue for Windows 8, so that's out. And we got PSEXEC, and we got Double Pulsar RCE. So of course, in today's tutorial, we'll look at the PSEXEC. So we can copy that, and we can use, followed by paste on it. So of course, we can enter the use exploit Windows SMB MS17010 PSEXEC. Hit enter on that, and we enter show options. So of course, in this case, we are tasked to look out for the R host once again. So there are also other kind of parameters that we may have to fill in. So again, those depends on the kind of setting, the kind of configuration and the options that you want to try out. So in this case, we just set on the R host, set R host as 192.168.1.18. Hit enter on that, and we can look at what are the payloads available for us. So we enter show payloads, and it would actually show the whole list of all the payloads that we can use as part of this exploit. And of course, there's a number of options. There's 210 options, in fact. And of course, very quickly, we'll just look at one of those that can give us a very quick success and access into the system. So of course, here we got Windows Shell, Bind, Reverse UDP, Windows Shell, and so on. But the one that we're most interested in today's tutorial, in today's tutorial is actually on MetaPreter. So what we can do is go ahead and enter set payload and we can key in the windows meter preter followed by reverse http so again it depends on the payload that you want to use but for today's tutorial we'll use this specific one so what stinks is we can enter show options so we actually got a key in the l host so the l host stands for listener host listener host meaning the listening server that will look out for the incoming connection from the target system so what we can do is enter set L host, and of course we need to find out what is the IP address of your call Linux machine. So again, we can open a separate terminal, enter ifconfig, and we can see the IP address is 192.168.1.17. So 17 is the call Linux IP address. So we enter 192.168.1.17, and once all this information are in place, do a show options again to make sure that you have all the right values inside the options of the Metasploit. And once you have all this information in place, you have double check your work, go ahead and enter exploit. And this will give us access directly into the system. So here we have the target operating system, Windows 10 Pro. And it's an overwrite system session obtained. And then we're using a PowerShell target, executing the payload. And we can see the handling request as well as the session being opened up. And once you have all this information, go ahead and enter get UID. And we can see what is the server username. So we're running on NT authority slash system. So the next thing we can do is enter shell. So this will bring us into the Windows shell. So here we can see we are on C drive, Windows system 32. And we can execute all kinds of Windows commands directly from here on. So the first thing we want to do is actually look out for a net user. So net user will list out all the users within the operating system of the Windows 10 machine they were targeting. And so, of course, here we can see we have an administrator, we have gas, we have Loy Liang Yang, which is the target username that we're going after. So what you got to do is enter net user Loy Liang Yang followed by asterisk. So once you hit enter on that, that would immediately reset the password of Loy Liang Yang. So here we can see the command completed. And of course, all we got to do is go back in the login page of Windows 10, hit enter on that, click sign in. And immediately we gain access into the system. So here we are. We have all the right access, full control, and we are able to take over the credential of it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.